pre-shuffling session and doing your pre-shuffle, Knight of Wands and the Magician came out. Um, I kept seeing the Knight of Wands, so I do feel like someone feels passionate, someone feels determined, someone's either working on a spell, someone's creating magic, or someone just is feeling really good about themselves, feeling really good about what they're creating, what they're working with, everything's going well, everything's in line. Um, someone could be feeling really like, you know, good about themselves. You're feeling passionate, feeling like they look good. They just got, you know, their hair cut. They just got a new outfit. Someone just feels good about themselves right now. They feel like they are, they're manifesting. Whatever they are working on is in alignment. Um, so yeah, the Knight of Wands and the Magician together, I kept seeing it that indicates that something is moving. Knights are for movement and knights are messages. So I do feel like something is manifesting or someone is really skillful at what they do. Um, someone could be moving, moving quickly. Um, yeah, but I kept seeing the fold in reverse. So I do feel like whenever someone could have done or could be doing they may be overconfident or someone could just be like i said feeling themselves in their ego like you know getting a lot of compliments feeling really arrogant but like i said with that full in reverse i feel like someone may have been too arrogant or they there could be some mistake that someone may have made or something that could backfire is what i'm getting all right virgo places this is everything for you this could be your energy. This could be the energy of someone you're connected to or the circumstance. This reading may play out from the perspective of the cross watcher. This is a timeless reading. It's also very general, so take what resonates only and let the rest go. Understand that this is not a gender specific reading, guys. Where are your placements? I want to call in some help, all knowing source, divine spirit, archangels, guys, ancestors, ascendant masters, five being above my higher self, and my galactic team of the highest light and resonance, star races, star family. Allow me to be the clear channel. Show me clearly what I need to see for Virgo placements. What's the faded overall energy? What's the faded overall energy for my Virgos? And we have the High Priestess in reverse, okay? So a secret or a secret organization or something that is hidden, okay? You know, how am I directing my energy here? That's the question that someone should be asking, right? The faded overall energy. It looks like there could be a Pisces of significance, possibly a Scorpio or a Cancer. The uh, High Priestess in reverse is what the feminine spirit, right? So in reverse, this could be just, you know, some feminine energy that you're dealing with, male or female, that could be keeping a secret or that could be doing something destructive with their magic, with their um, abilities, right? This could be a dark priestess energy but no matter what you know with the two energy of the high priestess twos are couples right it's all twos are also conflict you know so i do feel as if there may be um some type of infidelity going on or or someone that's just untrustworthy here okay high priestess is your faded overall energy virgo placements wow on the bottom of the deck we do have the lovers Okay, so this could have something to do with a relationship, okay? The lovers of the relationships of all kinds. This could be a Gemini involved as well. Um, you know, obviously with the lovers, we could have a, a, a connection, right? Where two people are inseparable, um, where uh, there could be something going on trying to separate two people, but soulmates, twin flame, twin souls, um, this could be family. This could be any type of connection that's important to you, right? That's connected to this high priestess in reverse, All right? But we're not going to take this as I want to show you that this is what's underneath of that high priestess energy in reverse. All right, so let's get some insight onto what's uh, happening for you. Virgo placements. <clears throat> this really may or may not have clarifiers. Um, we have curious, right? Lots of questions, lots of questions. Um, you know, what is this individual looking at, right? I feel like someone is just like really focused on someone. Someone could be like, 
getting a lot of screen time, right? Someone's looking at their phone, they're on their iPad all night. They're, you know, you know, literally like running out of, I don't know. I feel like someone is just like up and down someone's timeline, really, really like kind of stalking someone's life. Or if it's not that, someone's just really curious about something, getting a lot of information, studying, learning, taking in information, or maybe like taking in a lot of information that they're gonna use for some reason or something like that. So curious. What else for workout placements? Mutable Earth Energy. The Virgin, the Maiden, Virgo. Okay, and it came out in reverse, but we have the Old Flame energy here. I always say in this card, it's hard to tell what that figure is, if it's a feminine or masculine energy, but at any rate, we do have the energy of a past relationship, right? Um, I feel like there could be some unresolved feelings or energy surrounding up an old flame, right? So the fact that this came out in reverse could be that there could be some type of um, plot twist or reconciliation or something coming back around that uh, someone isn't expecting, all right? So old flame, yeah, I feel like with these two cards, we have someone really focused here on something from their past. Looking at an ex, looking, getting information on someone here. Stalking, watching, very curious, learning, right? This could be someone that's really curious and focused on someone here that's focused on someone else, okay? Someone from someone's past is focused on what someone else is focused on, all right? That's what I'm getting. Now, the high priestess could also represent someone just like not trusting their intuition or feeling like they aren't seeing something clearly or, yeah. Trust someone or something's repressed. Let's get one more for the uh, insight cards. What's going on around you right now? What do we have here? All right. <laughs> so we have dating. So that's where that Knight of Wands kept coming out in your meditative session in your pre shuffle, the Knight of Wands with the Magician. Right? Like I said, I feel like someone is doing work. Someone is, you know, like I said, not all magic is evil or ill-intended, you know, witchcraft, are you perfecting, right? Someone could definitely be doing some type of manifestation work, right? Because I kept feeling that Knight of Wands, Magician, it was like someone feels confident about what they're doing here, but then we have this High Priestess energy in reverse, so I don't know. I, I feel like something, like I said, I kept seeing the Fool in reverse as well. Like there's something that someone could be overconfident about where they could have made a mistake, right? Someone, you know, maybe a little too confident in what they're trying to do here. But again, someone's focused on the past or focused on an old flame or an old relationship because we have dating here now. Now, someone could definitely be just feeling good, feeling fresh, looking good, night of wands, you know, ready to go out on the scene, ready to get back in there, ready to manifest something for themselves. Someone maybe moved past something from their past. And again, someone here is curious about that. Right? You know, I feel like with this high priestess energy here, I feel like someone is very, very hyper focused on someone who is dating. This dating card is like equivalent to Two of Cups for me. So there could be a cancer of significance coming through here, right? With the dating card, it's a two cups there. It's a beautiful scene. I feel like this could represent two individuals getting to know each other. And I feel like someone from the past is honed in on a scenario, right? Someone may have been overconfident about some work that they did, you know, maybe to keep two people apart or something like that. Because we had the lovers show up underneath of the high priestess. So we're going to leave it there. That's kind of what's going on around you. In your energy, I did... Um, 
I did give a lot of perspectives, right? Because there's a lot of energies coming through, but we're gonna leave it there. And we're gonna go right into your tarot message. <clears throat> So, what's at the center of your reading? What's the current energy? Show me clearly the current energy for Virgo placements. The Knight of Swords. Okay. I usually don't take two, but I'm going to take two because they came out. Knight of Swords with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, all right? Okay, so at the center of your reading, okay, what the current energy is, is drama, right? The Knight of Swords with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, you know, I feel like there's something here that someone feels was taken from them. Um, the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, you know, this is like the universe is not blessing something, right? Somebody's finances isn't doing well someone whatever someone's trying to manifest isn't manifesting this is lack of abundance this is a delay right the ace of pentacles this is earth energy eight of pent of the ace of pentacles coupled with the in reverse coupled with the knight of swords this is theft this is a weak manifestation right so again someone may have been overconfident about something that they're manifesting about something that they are Stepping into, this could be a relationship, this could be, again, some type of work that someone is doing, um, it could be a love spell or something like that, you know, it is what it is, but this, this is like a weak, this is weak, this is weak work, this is weak, um, intentions or something isn't working with this, right? Now there's a delay here, um, you know, this is like someone maybe getting, some type of like communication about a loss or communication about some type of um, monetary loss, all right? So you could find, be finding out that you're not getting paid this week or whatever. Like if you have a couple different streams of income, there's like some type of blockage or you know, you can't access PayPal or there's something here where there's this energy. This could be anything coming in swift, like um, accounts, you know, swords, accounts, and then the ace of pentacles, money, right? But I'm taking it a little further down and saying that this knight of swords, right? In reverse, um, knight of swords definitely can be someone that waits, watches, stalks you know, um, look into someone's life, looking into someone's situation. Um, that's what the Knight of Swords does. You know, the Knight of Swords, you know, they're about information. They are about details and maybe even gossip, all of this. The Knights move quickly. The Knights are messages. But in reverse, okay, this is someone that has been waiting, that has been watching, but now they are coming forward, but they're coming forward with irritation, right? They're coming forward with drama. Um, yeah, lots of drama, lots of frustration, maybe arguments. Or, or again, something just isn't working here. This Knight of Swords energy, right? This could be a Gemini, all right? Um, possibly. But I feel like someone feels weak. Someone feels like they don't have energy, like they can't move forward, like they are stuck or delayed this could be the effects of someone's work that they're doing especially if it's ill-intended work you know 
trying to like separate someone or interfere with like the lovers we saw the lovers come out we have old flame here someone is dating here we have a two of cups situation where someone could be dating or getting to know someone and someone is here very very curious watching and focused right the old flame card came out in reverse as well so someone is really really focused on a situation that is developing. All right, so this is the center of the reading. Um, the Ace of Pentacles in reverse with this Knight of Swords. So this also can represent that someone is very, very frustrated. They have a lot to say or they have a lot that they are doing energetically because of the fact that something isn't starting over something isn't a new beginning something isn't beginning again right someone's in a lot of lack here now that energy that i saw in the beginning of the reading of the knight of wands you know with the magician someone just was like looking good feeling fresh feeling confident this could be a fire sign right you know, connecting with a, a a cancer. And then, you know, or that could be you connecting with the cancer Virgo placements or, you know, take it how it resonates. You could be someone that's, you know, curious and focused on whatever's happening here, this new beginning that you're not involved in, or this could be someone watching you. But there, there's a fire sign for sure that could be someone that's very confident, someone that you are connecting with where something someone that's watching this high priestess doesn't want that to happen like someone i saw it it was a magician in the upright position with the knight of wands that's a good energy right someone feels good confident about what is happening what's manifesting and then all of a sudden the fool in reverse right something kind of went left or something didn't jump off right someone felt like boom like you know the, the uh, fool was like, okay, I'm ready. I'm doing this. this. This feels good. We're doing this. And then all of a sudden, boom, something happens. The fool gets flipped in reverse again. So that could be the effect of some type of work that's being done against a new, a newly flourishing connection that an old flame doesn't want to come into manifestation. Okay. Nine of swords, ace of pentacles. Okay. Someone wants someone wants trauma someone wants like they want all of all of the smoke all of the swords they want it okay high priestess in reverse so yeah hmm right yeah oh man okay so wow okay so right underneath of the knight of swords and the ace of pentacles in reverse which is the center of your reading we have the emperor right so i feel like there is something being done against the emperor or someone if you're this emperor or whoever this emperor is there's someone who wants what the empress the emperor has right ace of pentacles knight of swords in reverse it's like someone wants to take a new beginning from the emperor or someone wants to to be the emperor or someone wants to take someone wants smoke with the emperor pretty much and they want to dead something they want something to end before it starts right if this emperor is coming towards you or this emperor is going towards someone. Someone wants to dead it. You know? Someone wants to end that. So maybe someone is trying to manifest or someone is trying to do work against a connection. Right? They want it dead. Over. Done. Or there's some type of work being done. All these swords... To delay something right the ten of swords is yeah that's a lot of projection that's a lot that's the you know someone's putting everything in 
some type of work that's being done to stop something from maturing here. Definitely someone from the past is very curious and very focused on stealing. Stealing this new beginning here. I'm hearing you're dead to me. You're dead to me. You're dead to me. I feel like maybe someone from the past may have heard those words. Maybe you said those words to someone specifically. Something is over. And there's someone that's really, really like obsessively focused on the past or obsessively focused on what didn't develop in the past, but what's developing now for you or you're really focused on what's developing for someone else. For this fire sign and this, or this cancer, all right, ultimately, I do feel like someone, again, wants to smoke. Someone wants, wants it. Someone is doing something here um, because they want, they want to steal something from the emperor, all right? But if someone wants to kill something before it begins, like the Ten of Swords, like you're dead to me, like someone, because... You told someone that this this is done. You don't trust it. You don't want it. You're done. You evolved past it. You're moving towards something true. You're moving towards something that inspires you. The Ace of Swords. Someone is like, okay, I'm dead to you. Well, I'm going to dead everything. Anything that tries to develop in your life. Okay. Someone sees this emperor coming in for you. Or you see this emperor coming in for someone. And someone wants it dead. Period. All right, workout placements. Let's see. Um, yeah, Gemini for sure. The Gemini here involved. Ten of Swords. Yeah, so let's get a specific Gemini energy here. Yeah, the Ten of Swords. That's definitely, yeah, Sun and Gemini. Sun and Gemini, the Knight of Swords is fire and air. So yeah, Aries, Leo, Sag mixed with air. Yeah. So let's see, what's your main focus? What's your main focus, Virgo placements? Your main focus is the Two of Wands. Making a decision. Your main focus could be an Aries. Yeah, it could be that Emperor. Your main focus is like trying to decide what to do. Your planning. Yeah, Two of Wands definitely came out in reverse. So, I mean, it came out in the upright position. So yeah, there's definitely a decision that you have made, right? And whenever we have the like wands, we already have like this energy of a plan coming together, manifestation. Um, someone is just like really putting a lot into something here. Yeah, a lot of focus. <laughs> Where you're finding something out You're focused, you're deciding something, you're figuring something out, or you're discovering something, right? Hmm. That's really interesting because, yeah, someone could have Mars and Aries. You know, the Two of Wands, it's, it's like, you could be choosing between two different individuals. It's two of wands. I feel like someone is really holding back. Mars and Aries is like a lot of desire, right? The 
fact that this two of wands is all about focus and decision, this brings me back to this energy here. Someone is really focused. After the two of wands is the three of wands, right? Someone's ships are coming in and someone is really focused. Someone can see someone's destiny or see what is developing for someone. And they are very focused on how to stop it here. This is your focus. Maybe you're aware of what someone's doing or maybe someone's aware of what you're doing here. Eight of pentacles, but something's not working, right? Yeah, bottom of the deck, someone was overconfident about something here very overconfident eight of pentacles in reverse right this is your energy some something is off with the work something is off here something isn't 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 working okay with the eight of pentacles right i feel like someone's been focused they're trying to perfect something they're trying to get in between here okay you could be dealing with another virgo but something is not manifesting you know the eight of pentacles is a failure it's failure you know eight of pentacles in general is like you know um unmatched skill unmatched focus unmatched focus unmatched skill perfecting a craft um being really meticulous about something mastering something in reverse is the exact opposite i feel like someone here might be just giving up you know because it's like you can no longer make something that's imperfect perfect you, you just can't something is just not working you tried everything in the book they tried everything in the book and something still is not working right because right below the eight of pentacles is the knight of cups i feel like you know there is a water sign that is very very strong or very very determined right like i said possibly a cancer you know i feel like there's you could be dating a cancer or you could be in a like a really loving relationship or getting to know a cancer or a fire sign or this is what someone else is doing but someone is still coming, right? <laughs> like, someone is still unaffected. Like, this could be um, Pisces, you know, the Knight of Cups, or someone with significant Jupiter placements. But this is someone who's, like, out of the realm. This is someone who's very powerful as well, psychically, intuitively. Um, this Knight of Cups is following their heart. They're still kind of coming. They may be a little lost, you know what I mean? This Knight of Cups looks a little bit disoriented, you know, there's a huge entity or something behind him, you know, but they're still coming. It's in the upright position. This night is still coming. So someone's like attempts to stop. Something is not working at all. So someone here is very frustrated, but they're still, they're still looking, right? They're still looking. They're still watching intently. You know, this old flame, whoever this is. You know, they could be paying someone or working with a really, like, high-level dark priestess or something like that. But whatever. Like, I feel like this priestess is saying, like, you know, you can stop giving me your money or it's not working. You know, this is not working. Like, you know, this energy is too strong. Something isn't working here. You know, but... Yeah, so someone you, someone feels you or someone feels delayed. Like, their, their plan has been delayed and they're, like, really, really frustrated you know so i feel like because whatever someone is doing isn't working someone may come forward right with some undesirable words etc okay wow all right what's the potential outcome here what's the potential outcome for Virgo placements What's the potential outcome? Oh. Oh. All right, so we have the temperance. And the eight of wands. The potential outcome here is connected to a Sagittarius. We have temperance. So everything is going to be just fine. Like, um... Everything is going to be balanced out with the Sagittarius, right? Eight of Wands, that's Sag energy as well, all right? So we could definitely have someone that, with the Eight of Wands, that has um, 
moon, well, the mer Mercury in Sagittarius. Okay, so this could be two Sages, okay, that you know or that are are dating or, again, you could be involved with Sagittarius or this could be someone from your past. But the outcome here is that everything is going to come into balance regardless of whatever someone is doing um, behind the scenes, whatever um, drama that someone is causing or bringing or... Um, starting here like we said that knight of cups is very disoriented so you know someone is very disoriented but they're still on their way the knight of cups they follow their heart okay they want to heal or be healed inspire or be inspired you know they're inspired by someone or being healed by someone despite this entity someone is still coming so um yeah this is uh, divine intervention. This is um, protection, Archangel Michael, right? And of course, Eight of Wands is Cupid's arrow. We had the lovers on the bottom of the deck. You know, where did it go? Yeah, so I feel like some, some entity, some force is trying to come in between um, a connection that's important to you or, you know, take it how it resonates. The roles can be reversed, but yeah, potential outcome here is that someone's been patient or someone's protected highly. Um, you know, someone is like above any type of like low level spell work or magic that someone is trying to do. So someone is highly frustrated here. Eight of Wands is Cupid's arrow. Someone is, those arrows are coming in quickly. Someone is still continuing to come into harmony with someone, come into balance with someone. The Knight of uh, Cups is still coming. Is still is like following their heart. Okay. And Eight of Wands, it's fast paced energy. Is it like eight days? Something could really be taking off in eight days, eight weeks. But you know, Wands are uh, days. So I do feel like there could be a message. There could be some type of um, travel, Eight of Wands, okay? Where there's something that is actually coming together. And a night of, the Eight of Wands is also downloads, okay? There's a lot of um, cosmic energy, a lot of um, divine energy uh, download that someone is receiving through meditation, through science, synchronicities that... everything is fine, everything is coming to balance, that you are to continue to keep moving forward, um, that something is blessed and divine. Um, again, this could be like, again, a soulmate, but it looks like whatever someone's trying to do is futile here because we have temperance, right? 14, reducing to five. Number 14, the major arcana. Five is a number of change, shifts, paradigm shifts, right? Five is like someone is used to towers. It's okay. Like they're fine. They are fueled by the tower. Um, they can't be stopped. You know, each tower, each Jupiter cycle, each, you know, time that they're on the bottom of the wheel, they come back on top of the wheel harder. So someone is like really protected here. All right. One step ahead of the game. Jealousy is so bad where it strikes that there is no cure for it. If it grows too much, it is lethal. It is lethal. Yeah, so there is some jealousy here. There is some type of uh, interference. Obviously, someone is definitely very, very focused on you or on someone from their past, right? Or someone from their past is focused on you or you are focused on someone else. Take it how it resonates. But yeah, your focus, someone's focus here is the fact that something isn't working. That, they're, that they've been focused on and putting a lot of energy in, it didn't work. Two of wands, eight of pentacles, right? Someone wants to take something, dead something, in something before it begins. But the universe is like, I don't think so. Okay? So, 
I don't know. We're going to leave it there. I'm not going to do any clarifiers. I think it's pretty self-explanatory, but I am going to pull from Mysteries in the Stars and just see what the universe wants to say about this. See if we get any other information about who, what, what signs are coming through for this message. For Virgo placements. The most, oh yeah. The universe is saying like, yeah, something is divine. Something here is sent from heaven. Okay, it can't be stopped, right? We could have an Orion connection here. Number 36, you know, reduces to nine, right? So that is divine justice, evolution, love, justice, divine timing. Yeah, so, so there's something here sent from heaven. Something here is a higher love. It can't be stopped, right? Someone is moving on to a higher love so Virgo placements yeah they can't stop you whoever's trying to stop you I definitely feel like you could be dealing with another Virgo um I do feel like the parties in question where there is some type of interference definitely is connected to a water sign um or Sagittarius for sure okay um, the opposition could have something to do with a, ver a, a um, Gemini placement or an earth sign, but, or possibly even a Pisces, but we do have all the water signs here. We have, um, Sagittarius, Gemini, Virgo, Aries. Okay. But yeah, definitely a higher love, a, a blessed connection protected connection what else yeah <laughs> we have mystery right so lots of synchronicities lots of signs omens that someone is receiving remember eight of wands that's connection to spirit right someone is highly intuitive um someone here is a true high priestess and someone here is very manipulative, dark, um, hiding something, secrets, repressed emotions, more than likely this energy from the past. But yeah, so someone here um, could have a lot of cult knowledge. Um, someone here could be a medium, someone here could be a tarot reader, someone here could just, again, there's something here about divination and truths and curiosity, right? Killing the cat. Curiosity killed the cat. Curiosity killed the cat. Someone can't believe what they're seeing. They can't believe it. They want to stop it. They want to dead it, right? Again, I'm hearing, you're dead to me. You're dead to me, okay? Someone can't forget the past. And because they're not a part of the past, because they heard those words, they want to destroy someone else's future, um, whatever the case may be. But yeah, I feel like a mystery is going to be unsolved here. It's going to be solved truth is going to come out whatever has been hidden let's get one more card yeah so we have Sagittarius right um it's the DMX card the archetype for DMX who was a Sagittarius it did come out in reverse so I do feel like someone feels as if someone you know didn't ride someone that's you know isn't ride or die or someone isn't down for the cause or someone is you know betrayed them right whenever i have the dmx energy come out um in reverse it's going to be some of the unhealthier aspects of, of of dmx so with this energy i'm feeling as if we could have someone who's like you know um you know someone that has issues with feminine energy Maybe because of their mother or because of something that happened with their in their childhood. You know how DMX's mom um, abandoned him and, you know, he never got over it. And he had to, you know, become a man and be tough and had this whole um, ulterior um, alter ego so that he could survive. You know, I feel like someone just has like a, a lot of issues with feminine energies. Someone could be like a misogynist or, a, you know, all of that. Right, so again, someone feels as if you know how like DMX is like dog for life, a rider, like down for the cause. Someone feels as if someone betrayed them, not loyal. Um, so someone has a lot of anger, a lot of heartache, a lot of 
lot that they're going through, right? They feel like they're in a constant battle and they're really frustrated. So yeah. And again, this could be about a Sagittarius or this could be a Sagittarius, okay, that we're dealing with here. And on the bottom of the deck, we have Cancer. All right. So like I said, this is about a new beginning or about some type of harmony or soulmate energy coming together that someone from the past is very curious about, very focused on, and definitely there's someone trying to prevent something from taking place, whether that's through interference, manipulation of energies, whatever the case may be, pure and simple manipulation or getting in the middle of someone, whatever it is, spreading lies, you know, Ace of Pentacles, Knight of Swords in reverse, but we definitely have, like I said, a cancer of significance here. Now, this came out in the upright position is this mystery star card of Princess Diana. So this is a very positive energy, you know, that's connected to whatever someone's trying to interfere with. There definitely could be a cancer of significance that you are connected to Virgo placements or that someone that you're connected to is connected to. But this is the people's princess. This is someone who's in the limelight or someone who is an empath. This is like a queen of cups energy. Right? There's definitely a cancer of significance involved here, possibly with a Sagittarius. Um, but yeah, so I feel like someone here is the people's princess. Someone here is an empath. Someone here is very deep, has emotional depth, very complex. All right. But this is someone who's going to shine regardless. This is someone who. Someone who wears a crown. This is someone who deserves a crown. And that's why someone wants to interfere with this, with the situation. But they're blocked, yeah. They're blocked. Someone is blocked from interfering with a divine connection, all right? No matter what someone does, they cannot stop what's truly divine here. They can't. They can't. Right? Like I said, their focus on something is not working. Archangel Michael is in the building. Temperance. All right? But that doesn't mean that someone's going to stop. Right? Someone is very focused. All right? High Priestess in reverse. So we're going to leave it there. I'm going to give um, an oracle. To end the message. Okay. Okay, I feel like I'm going to go ahead and just pull from the Magic and Mediums oracle. That's what they're saying. Something really important in that deck for you guys. All right. All right. Divine advice. Divine advice for Virgo placements. Divine advice for Virgo placements. Okay. So we have nature. Nature is the divine advice. All right, so I do feel like that Mother Gaia, the universe, is handing you a gift or handing someone in the situation a gift. It's a gift from the universe. It can't be taken away. It's fate, right? But someone wants to come in and swoop in and take it, right? Yeah. So someone could be doing some something with the high priestess so they, they have someone out there who collects bones and you know dirt and someone's trying to like conjure spirits and everything else they're getting in over their head whatever they're doing it's a waste of time money effort it's not working all right so we have you know you may think it's working someone may think it's working they may have thought something was working here because again right this night does look confused. There is a whole entity behind him. He's disoriented. But the Knight of Cups came out in the upright position. So this knight is still following their heart. This knight has the ability to 
you know, this is someone who is psychic as well. They have ability to like transcend realms or whatever. So someone that may have been a little disoriented, but they are back on track. They're moving towards this connection. It's divine, right? So something may be low level or whatever. It may have a little bit of like an effect, but it is not stopping anything. So nature, let's see. Divine advice to end the message. For Virgo. Placements. All right, Virgo placements. Nothing stopping nothing. No worries. Nature, the phenomena of the physical world collectively, including plants, animals, the landscape, and other features and products of the earth as opposed to humans or human creations. I think that in a sad reading this last week, they got the nature card. So definitely a Sagittarius energy, very, very present, very, very relevant. All right, so some of the keywords for nature. Dryad, love, medicine, friendship, give, admiration, fairy, right? Someone, again, that's a fairy energy here. So um, someone could be connected to the fairy, to the fae. Elementals, innocence, calm, truth, alchemy, gifts, connection, occult, patron, health, soulmate, youth, motherhood and matriarchy okay so again we did have the energy of love and gifts soulmate that soulmate energy here that's a gift from the universe as well all right some of the other keywords here that connect with the reading Forbidden fruit. Friends, a pact. Barter, manipulation, and power. Right? So, yeah, I definitely do feel like someone feels right. Like they don't want someone to receive this gift they don't yeah so let's get the block message for anyone who needs it the block message for virgo placements remember the block message is for anyone who may feel blocked by this energy that could be going through this or that could have been going through this in the past have already moved through this energy and healed through this energy so the block message your inability to simply receive without feeling beholden or manipulated is ridding others of the joy of giving to you and ridding you of the joy of being helped and appreciated. Yeah, I just feel like someone is definitely doing some type of work to try and manipulate the motions of, of, of a group of, of a couple of people here so that they don't receive love, so that they don't receive what the universe wants them to receive from this energy that's coming in for them right remember in the beginning someone wanted to steal um the ace of pentacles a new beginning a divine blessing of a new beginning from the emperor before it even began ten of swords right if you're dead to, if i'm dead to you then you're not going to receive what the universe has for you right so someone's trying to interfere with someone's destiny here um yeah so yeah, so that's what someone's trying to block. But the, yeah, also, someone here will realize firsthand that there are users and manipulators and that you cannot change anyone's true nature no matter what you do, right? So someone may have, you may have realized this, that's why you cut someone off, that's why someone's dead to you, or vice versa, that's how someone feels about you, and they're done, right? You're dead to me, it's over. 
but someone doesn't get that. Someone's very hyper focused on what someone is developing, what the universe is blessing someone with, and it's obsessive, right? They want to take this gift out of their hands. The divine message for you, Virgo placements, the answer to all of your questions and ailments will be found in nature. You'll be called to integrate Ayurvedic principles, natural foods, and homeopathic remedies into your life. As you will become what you eat, you find yourself healthier and more able to give and receive light. More importantly, you will get closer to the natural world and the beings that exist within it and protect it and that protect you, right? This is something that you're receiving at this time, right? You don't have to worry. This blessing is yours or this blessing is whoever it's meant for. No interference, no um, ill-intended love spells, dark magic, projections is going to stop it. This gift is yours, right? So, um, yes, someone is focused, someone is intent, someone is continuing to do work or manipulate the situation or create drama or... Um, some type of interference or illusions on your path or someone's path, but this again is what's meant for you. And like your divine message says, you're getting closer to something, okay? Someone knows it, someone sees it. You're protected.